So now let's see how to use counter hint to inside of Toon Boom Harmony, which can be helpful for morphing uh, graphics. So uh, to use the morphing example, I'm going to take a rectangular shape right over here. So this is going to be my first frame and I'm going to create a second frame, which is going to be a bit rotated. So I'm just going to select this out, maybe rotate this around a bit and then resize this. So let's say I want to do an animation right over here. So now I, I'm going to press shift plus right over here. So you got a bit of frame to work with. I'm going to right click over here. I'm going to go to morph and I'm going to create morph. So right now what is happening is that it is morphing, but it is not morphing in a way I want. You can see that these are the points and instead of rotating into these points right here, it's actually squeezing in and new points is actually popping out of nowhere. So uh, what I want to do is I want to give it shape hint so that it actually rotates out and then gets to the shape that I want to. So for that, I need to go to morphing tool right here and inside of morphing option right over here, here's the first setup that is contour hint. So this is what I want to add in. So I'm going to go to contour hint over here. So once I do that, if I were to click anywhere, you can see that there's a dot which I can move around. So I need to uh, remember the order of this. So there's zero right over here. If I were to click somewhere else, there's one. So there's one, zero, one. And I'm gonna make sure that I snap it to the end. So there's zero, one, two, and zero, one, two, three. So zero, one, two, three. So there is my morph. So what I want to do is on the other frame, I want to have it in the order which I want it to follow. So I'm going to go back over here, zero, one, two, three. And then I'm going to press this button right over here in current morphing. So that is switch between drawings. Once I click that, you can see that the 0123 number actually stays just like that. And now I'm on my other drawing. So what I can do is I can drag the one so I can keep one over here. Let's say, for example, this is where I want one to end up and zero right around over here, just like this and two right around over here and three right around over here. So what happens now is this is zero, one, two, three, right over here and zero, one, two, three. So you can actually go over here. So now this zero, one, two, three, if I were to actually go back now, it's animating the way I want, as you can see right over there. So if I were to play this around now, since I did my uh, counter hint right over here, now you can see zero, one, two, three, working out so it is working animating the way i want i can change this out as well so i can change out the point according to what i want so let's say i want one to be here uh zero to be here and then two to be here three to be here it animates around just like that as you can see so just like that i want to have zero one and then two and three just like that i need to remember the order and now the animation is like this as you can see and this is very very helpful as you can see right over here so instead of popping out points from random spot it actually helps out when you use zero one two three so yeah, i can fill this out with the color as well so let me just fill this out with green over here and here so you can see that this is how it actually works out so there you go that's how you use contour uh hinting tool right over here inside of toon boom harmony to manage shape morphing so hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe